We know that to multiply fractions, we can just multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. But here's an extra step which we can use that might make things easier for us. We can cross simplify our fractions. So if we look at this first question, we might notice that 3 and 9 are both in the 3 times table. So if we divide them both by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And what else might we notice for this first question? Well, 4 and 8 are both in the 4 times table. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So now we have 1 times 2 over 1 times 3. So our answer is 2 thirds. So now pause the video and see if you can follow the same steps to multiply 5 twelfths times 3 tenths. 5 and 10 are both multiples of 5, so we can cross simplify by dividing by 5. That gives us 1 and 2. And 12 and 3 are both multiples of 3, so we can cross simplify to make 4 and 1. So now, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 2 is 8, so our answer is 1 eighth. Now for this question, if we look across, we can see 7 and 10. But because 7 and 10 are not in the same times table, we can't cross simplify here. But if we look across the other way, we have 10 and 5, which we can change to 2 and 1. So when we multiply, that means we get 7 twentieths as our answer.